Should you boost a post? Yes or no? Hi guys, Manny Hanif here and welcome to a latest video. And in this p in this video, I'm going to basically bust the myth of the fact that if anyone boosts a post, they literally get shot and they, they literally get shot down by the boost post feature or is available to all Facebook admins. Here you can see this is one of my um, potential clients that approached me and I was just looking at his ad campaigns and he made a ton of sales from a boost post. This was like trial and error Facebook ads. So the boost post feature namely works is you, you basically um, make a post on Facebook okay, and then you boost it. So let me just give you an example. So this one here, this post here, it reached over 3,000 people. It had over 340 engagements, according to this. And if I click on this post in a bit more detail, it had 96 people click the URL link. This, click, this link here, 96 people clicked this link, okay? And that is basically, it's just a simple post of a bunch of parcels and inside these parcels are masks and basically if you look at the results from this boost post you can see over 100 link clicks just 20 pounds 20 20 dollars spent over the course of 10 days um on literally you know a starting budget of a couple of dollars a day you know and you can see here clearly that this is a broad audience using using no interests and look at the stats on here guys you know so the purpose of this video is to just let you know guys that if you're going to be boosting a post do it on the understanding that the post will give you traction it will basically create some engagement but you can't rely on boost posts to grow your business boost posts are good they can give you that traction and engagement but in the long term you want to do it properly now this ad was rejected because obviously he's promoting something which obviously has the logo for sky news he's got the text in here which is which i don't condone he's got text in here facebook restricts the reach if you've got text Let's have a look at the details. I mean, so far before the ad was rejected, cost per engagement zero point zero three cents. If I scroll up to this one, there's not really indication as to how that performed, but you can see this was the this was the normal PPE ad, and. This was boosted. So basically, this couldn't run because of controversial content in regards to the COVID. So you can't really. But just look at the comments, guys. Engagement on Facebook, 32 link clicks. This was all result of this promotion, this paid promotion. So does that mean you should be boosting posts? My conclusion is, and this is this is this is my own opinion. I've been using Facebook ads for over 10 years and. I have always been a fan of the boost post feature to give you quick short term traction and I'm just going to basically break it down to you so this is your ad copy okay This is your ad copy and you basically basically have this as a post so basically this this is a post okay so let me just basically break it down to you this is a post on Facebook okay on your page you post this as normal okay so let me just put down step one simple 
simple Facebook post, okay? And you post this on Facebook, you could, you could have like 12 fans, or you could have 100 fans on your Facebook page. The simple fact is, you simply post on Facebook. Number two, you will have an option whether you can boost a post. In some cases, you can't boost a post because if it's a shared post, you can't post it. So that means if, if, if that post is shared, you can only post it at the start. You can't post it halfway when it's you know shared. Um, so you need to post the post, you need to boost the post at the start. Okay, and number three, budget and targeting and this bit here is very important because you're not going to get much advanced options to set your budget and targeting you're going to only have a limited number of options that facebook gives you why well simple the boost post feature is aimed at newbie facebook marketers who just simply like to click this feature and they would just want to get traction and that's all it is that is all it is guys and sometimes it can work and sometimes it can backfire but it can get you a ton of traction and link clicks and if people want something and not many people are using this feature anymore maybe that's a good thing for you okay so for me uh, in order to conclude from this video should you use this boost post feature yes use it if it's relevant to your audience and set aside a small tiny budget of let's say five dollars a day and let it run okay thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my videos using the bell icon okay because you will be notified of all the videos i upload on youtube speak soon